Welcome to Season 6 in NBA 2K22. Zero Gravity. It's time to get to level 40 again, and the following events will definitely help you get there. This weekend, aboard the Concha Del Mar, it's top deck. All games played on deck 16 will earn double XP. In the city, check out Club 2K for... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back. Welcome to the NBA on Alley. It's Ryan, as the NBA pivots away from the... Very interesting, Alley. Good stuff there. Thank you. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Malcolm Brogdon up there with Halliburton. Then there's Miles Turner. And it's Smith in at the four. And for the Jazz. And a couple of... Pacers How far can a hot start carry a team? Well, well some teams can ride a strong start throughout the whole season. I mean, it's just a huge mental boost for a team, particularly early on. Indiana has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. McConnell against Clarkson. McConnell shot is off to the paint. And it's Butler with the jam. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Pass to Duarte. Here's Brissett. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. And he banks in the layup. Okay. They're not Brissette. wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. The shot by Butler, no good. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. MP, the pass to Jackson. And here's Clarkson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. With his first shot attempt. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Here's Duarte. That'll count. And that's not going to go. And so it's Indiana in a good situation. And the 6-1 guard, undrafted out of Arizona. It's all about just reading the way... Brand, he's always lurking. Yeah, and that anticipation, in part, a product of his great IQ. I mean, his father's a highly successful college coach, and believe you me, it helps. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Quite a position here for the Pacers to be in. What do you guys think? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well-prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. Markson and Bogdanovich, the two and the three. Then there's Butler, then there's Eric Paschal, and it's Pinson in at the center position. That's the group for Utah right now. And Mobile One has announced that they'll be partnering with MP. Both sides seemed ecstatic after getting this deal done. Yeah, B.A., this is definitely a mutually beneficial deal. MP continues to build his brand, and Mobile One gets one of the league's brightest young stars. Inside. Outside Butler. 4-3. Knocks down the triple. Butler's got five points. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Here's McConnell. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And the Jazz pushing it up now. He pulls it. Off the left rim and out. The Pacers shooting the ball at 48% so far. Down low. The jump hook. Pass to Duarte. McConnell outside. Six on the shot clock. MP right side. 
Second shot opportunity. McConnell's shot is off. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Clarkson for three. Dorte grabs the board for Indiana. They've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Clarkson against MP. Back to McConnell. Good. And the assist goes to MP. McConnell's got his second bucket on the night. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Clarkson for three. That one doesn't drop. So the Pacers will take it the other way. This game against Utah, the first time they've met this year. And with this matchup being East first West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Pacers. One storyline that's shaping up is all the points they're getting at the foul line. They've gotten to the stripe repeatedly here in the first half. I love that attacking mindset. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Here's Duarte. Gets the three to fall. He's got five. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Bogdanovich against McConnell. Puts it up from 12. And that one hits the back iron. The Pacers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. To the middle. Pass to Jackson. Rebounded by the Jazz. They'll be hosting Miami for their next game. That game will be the third of five at home. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Back to McConnell. And here's MP. To the inside. And the dunk by Jackson. You can't leave someone open on MP squad because he's solid at recognizing the overcommitment. McConnell against Butler. Haskell inside. Nine points for him in his last game. Fade away. The rebound by Brissett. Brissett's got five rebounds tonight. Down low. Tipped. Here's MP. Banked it in off the glass. MP. MP's got four points now in the quarter. The concentration it takes to hit that shot through contact is impressive. MP has amazing focus when the D's up on him. Butler finds Clarkson. Will it go? The three. And Butler the bucket on the assist by Clarkson. Butler. Clarkson's got three assists tonight. His second make from beyond the arc this quarter after hitting none in the first. Here's McConnell. Clarkson grabs a miss. Clarkson's got his fourth rebound in this one. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Only one man back on D. A good look from Bogdanovich. Dorte grabs the board. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Butler passes to Clarkson. Over McConnell. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Indiana shooting only 36% during the second. Pass to MP. To the middle. Chris had no good. Meeting. Right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. 
Butler with the bucket. Indiana calls timeout. Indiana They're coming off that loss timeout. against Denver. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Come on, a Let's see who's the ladder. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly... Look for Utah. Benson, he's checked in for Gobert. Pascal comes in for O'Neal. And Clarkson subbed in for Conley. Free throw no good for Halliburton. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. And Indiana, looking at who they've got. We've got Miles Turner. MP is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Jackson, and it's Dorte in at the small forward position. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bondanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Inside, here's MP. And a missed layup. The Jazz have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Right side, Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Penson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His second personal and they'll give that one to Miles Turner. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Brissett's checked in for Indiana. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. Clarkson passes to Pascal. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 14 to the inside. Pascal can't hit. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. And Mitchell at this point is a better outside shooter. Wade a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade, but Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. Utah's got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to Pascal. Now here's Mitchell. Clarkson outside. Now here's Pascal. Covered by MP. Yep, count it. Pascal's got his third bucket of the night. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Down low. Deflects the pass. Press had no good. Utah trailing here. Bogdanovich on the wing. Defended by Halliburton. Pass to Mitchell. Inside. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Mitchell's got four points now in the quarter. Indiana's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Here's Penson. Defended by Jackson. Outside Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. A nice shot by Mitchell. The efficiency Mitchell has from range is tremendous. He can just bury you with threes. Back to MP. Halliburton outside. And Pascal secures it. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got a rebound number five here tonight. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. 
Utah's gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Clarkson for three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Clarkson's got five now. <laughs> I just love the ball. And the Pacers call time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. So we see the Jazz get the win here. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you later.